not sure if I said lower or low, but I probably should have said just low. okay. I should have said a little lower, you know. And I guess he just took it to heart, man. And he just, you know, well, he shot the nuts up all on that target. Well, there's two <laughs> things. So not only did I purposely aim low, but in trying to keep it away from my face, I kind of had it down here, and I was in no way looking through the sight. But so here's the thing. Again, when you're going for accuracy, that's one thing. And, and that's, again, the, the passion and entertainment. But if you're protecting your house and somebody walks in the door, if you, we talked about this before we even went live. If you hit somebody in the finger with that thing, your finger's gone. Mm. So even aiming low, you hit somebody in the thigh, That it served its purpose. Yeah. So it doesn't matter with a shotgun if, if you're protecting your house or, well, or if you're, you're, you're it, defensively. Ammo wise, it might matter. Cause if, if you have bird shots, which I'm hoping nobody use bird shot for home protection, you know, you either want to go, you probably want to go buck. Um, even go on slug, you might tear your house apart, but, um, but it, do you care them? Like you're, you're trying to protect no, the, your house. The like, purpose oh, is, is protecting them. your house. Right. Yeah, I get, I get it. I'm just saying, you know, you might want to just keep it loaded with buck because right. the buck's going to, you know, you hit somebody with a bird shot, you can kill somebody with a bird shot, no doubt about it, depending on how close you are. But, you know, depending on how far away you are, you know, there's stories and pictures I've seen of people getting hit with bird shots in the chest, you know, and it looks like a bunch of different pellets. Right, right. And like you got chest it's pimples, hurt. pimples, yeah, yeah. It's going to hurt, and if you hit them with it and it doesn't kill them, they're probably not going to jump right back up. No. But, you know, if you're trying to just end things with the first shot, and I'm not ever condoning that you kill somebody. I mean, you know unless you're protecting you. Somebody uh, crosses absolutely. your home, then it is what it is. No doubt about it. Yeah, but, absolutely. You know, you know, buck is probably the way to go. Yeah, but anyway. No about that. You, you break in my house, you, you got to take what done. you get. Yeah. yeah I got, it's just I, the way it is. I think I mentioned I shot Aaron's... Uh, uh, Beretta, the PX4 Storm, which is a good gun, you know what I mean? In no way do I have anything negative to say about it, I just think the Canik's better. And then we shot my Ruger 9E, which to me became the most fun because it's the handgun I'm most used to shooting. Um, and I was watching Vanilla Gorilla shoot too, he didn't do bad at all, you know, especially for a, not a first time, but not having done it. It's it been years, pro yeah. probably about 20 years since I shot a gun, and then uh, it was probably... 10 years before that so i've only shot a weapon twice in my life this would be the third time um I, I will go back to the shotgun so so i had another problem with the shotgun and it was that i did chest a couple of days ago at the gym and i'm just you know getting back into the gym i lost 10 pounds in one week by the way so i i, I talked about that last week so i'm down nice. to the 330th but anyway so um so I did chest. Obviously, anybody that goes to the gym, you know, you have muscle soreness, your muscle fibers are tearing, whatever. And the shotgun, so when you shoot the, the AK and the shotgun, you kind of put the, the stock into your chest. So when it would kick back, it literally was causing me pain, so it made me uncomfortable. I think if, if there was no pain involved, I would have enjoyed it a little more. But because literally every time... When I was shooting, I was like, oh, let's hurry up and get this shit done so he can get shoot. Cause, <laughs> it, just because it hurt. It, it wasn't that I wasn't enjoying the action of it. Mm. It was the pain, like literal pain that, that made me uncomfortable. But, it, I mean, still, it, the shotgun is powerful. So it's almost like, it's almost like having a car... That when you step on the gas, it just goes boom and takes off versus a car that doesn't. So right. it has that kind of effect. Like, ooh. You know, and, and now that you mention that, there's something I wanted to say about the AK-2. Now, I've shot an AR many a times before. And I've never had an AR throw me off balance. But I think I kind of went up and underestimated the yeah, AK I remember a little bit. That. And it didn't like push me back or anything but I did get to the point where I shot it and I kind of rocked a little bit where I had to hurry up and put my heels down <laughs> you know so you, you know, had to change and, your and, respect for it right and I had to get a lower base you know I didn't realize how 
kind of yeah. I was on my feet shooting it. And, and that's the thing. When you shoot, you do want to have a nice base, almost like a, a fighting stance in a sense mm-hmm. where, you know, because if you're just standing straight up and somebody pushes you. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, they they do that probably on the, like the first day of jujitsu training. Right. Like, put your feet together, stay there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you will fall dead ass over. Yeah. So, you know, that, that I kind of, I guess, slept on the AK a little bit. But I, I got to tell you, man. You know, it's I'm, just adjusting. I don't, I don't, yeah, I would, it's an adjusting. I wouldn't say that you were sleeping on it. I think, number one, you were excited. <laughs> yeah. And then, number two, with anything, you have to adjust after, you know, it, the first time doing something. You're going to have to adjust. So. Yeah, Jason, what's going on, bro? So. But, um, yeah, I just... Uh, I've been thinking about that AK ever since I shot it. Man. It's like, wow. You know, I know, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> everything was in my mind was AR, AR, I'm going to buy mm-hmm. lower, which I said. Matter of fact, you said it before we even went, got yeah. there. Mm-hmm. AR, yeah. AR, AR, AR. Now my mind is AK, 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 AK. But still AR, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But all I could think about was that AK. But yeah. overall. Oh, I can. I'll, I'll make a prediction. He'll get the. I guarantee you. The next gun this dude buys is that AK. <laughs> Guarantee. Anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway. You know, um, shout out to Aaron again for... Yeah, you know, definitely. Thanks, for Aaron. out the AK and just coming out and everything. It, it's always fun to shoot with him. You know. Um, you know and he's TSS. a nice fucking guy. That's, yeah, that, oh, great that, guy. That makes yeah. it on, you know... Great guy. And he's a Giants fan, which is more important than all of that shit together. He's a Giants fan. Malik, if you're watching, take notes from your younger brother. He's a Giants fan. That's what you should be. But nonetheless, um, you know, it was fun all over. You know what I mean? For for me personally. And then to get him out. You know, I was telling him before the podcast started is that whenever you're into something and you can share that with somebody right. else, it, yeah. it's always very exciting. For me personally, I don't know how other people are with that. Oh. But, you know, it's well, the yeah. same way with me with, with the food, with right? The food, like, yeah. you know, that... And the funny thing about the food is I had to text the dude and I'm like, yo, no homo, but I made you breakfast. <laughs> Just because I like to cook. Mm-hmm. So uh, he was like, oh, no, shit, I'm, that's cool with me. Yeah, but, that's what's up. Yeah, so, so it, it says a lot about passion. And, and you can tell when somebody's passionate about something. Um, and you can... I've talked to him multiple times about guns more so recently, and you can tell he just has a passion for it. So I kind of got a kick out of watching him enjoy his passion, right? Like, like it was it was cool. Hey, Jason, no, I've, I've never seen the Caltech 7. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Um, I've shot the Sub-2000 by Caltech, and there's a shotgun that Caltech has that my buddy really wants that's... Uh, it's interesting. It's a nice looking shotgun, but I don't even know how to really explain it. Tamika is an Eagles fan, so yeah. she was Aaron, I can't wait to see what you get next month, brother. But you know, you know And your breakfast is <laughs> you, here. You know bro. as soon as you get it, I'll be like, let's take it up to the range. <laughs> but um uh, TSS. If you ever go target shooting solution, it's in Avondale, um, not too far from Delaware. I don't know. Right I'm gonna be the Almost there. Yeah. Right up, uh, over the border, yes. I would say. Down Probably like ten, five minutes over the border. You got to go through Pike Creek to get there. If you've never been there, what you want to do is you want to go online to their website and sign their waiver on the website. Because if you go there to TSS, they're going to make you watch a video. I think the video is like an hour long or it, or the process takes an hour, one or the other. It was like but 15 minutes. Yeah, but it's better to do it online instead of going But technically, we could have done it because we had to wait anyway. I could, you know what I mean. True. My cousin said Sig P three twenty. Sig, okay. Yeah, I've never shot uh, a Sig period, but Sigs are very uh, Sig sours are very. Um, they have a very good reputation. Um, I did hold a. Uh, I hope I ain't got the number wrong. The new one that's real small. I think it's called the three six five or something like that. Um, I didn't like how small it was in my hands, Daryl. But like I said, Sigs are solid. Uh, What's the one you asked the girl about? Like when we were oh, leaving. Oh, no, that was the, um, they have a gun up there. Um, in Delaware, silencers are illegal, but in PA, they're not. And they have a gun up there. I forget the name of it. I, th- I think the nickname was the Silencio. He said, yeah, it's a 365. Okay. 
And it uh, already has a silencer built into the gun as part of the gun. It kind of looks like RoboCop's gun. Already, oh, okay. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of want to shoot it to see how it is. I mean, there's probably nothing really spectacular about it. I've never heard anything about it outside of TSS. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, and you can rent guns at TSS, which you can also do at Target Master as well, mm-hmm. which is on 202. Um, but you can rent. What's, what's the big one you can rent? The big one, which one? What? Oh, the Desert Eagle? No, no, the the blow up your whole fucking car one. It's like a hundred dollars for the first one. Oh, like you can up. go up to TSS and you can um, oh, you carry a three twenty, Jason. Okay, that's what's up. Um, you can rent a a fifty cal BMG up at uh TSS. I think it's like a hundred dollars for the first person and fifty right. for the second. You get three shots now. If you ever seen the BMG, the bullets are like M80s or something like that. Small sticks of dynamite. Daryl said huge. P320s with military and cops carry. Oh, okay. Well, the cops in um, Maryland, the DOT cops, they carry Glock 22s, 40 cals, but they're about to change it. Um, yeah, the, the BMG, it's 150, you get three shots. They actually close off the range, one side of the range, to let you shoot because it's either A, that loud or... You know, that windy. I've seen a guy um, shoot at a deer and miss the deer. And it killed the deer. <laughs> so, I mean, and this video's on YouTube. So. What What was, so, when we were leaving, this dude started shooting. And literally uh, everybody in the range, Aaron, you missed this. Uh, you missed this part. So, this dude started shooting this gun and literally everybody. Everybody on our side of the range, like, got their phones out and, like, went over and was like, what in the entire hell was that? Because it was, it was, it was almost like if you were standing next to where they were letting fireworks off loud. And that's with these huge ear protectors on. Well, here's it was just like, boom, boom. Here's the funny thing about it. I've shot that gun before. He was shooting an AR-15, mm-hmm. but he wasn't shooting two, two, three, which is the only ammo I've ever shot at air. Now, AR typically shoots two different types of ammo, two, two, three, and five, five, six. He was shooting five, five, six, and it was just really loud. It like, was loud. There was like fire bursts coming out out of the the gun. Like you could be in the next lane or two lanes down, and I would see like the fire burst come out. I was like, God, like. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, it, Put a it hole actually, in your ass. <laughs> yeah. It caught my attention too. You know, I, I've, like I said, I've never shot 5.56 five, out of the AR. Um, it's always been 223. So I didn't know it made that much of a difference sound wise, but it, it was. That uh, was, yeah, that was. But, um. Auditorily impressive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the guy kind of turned around, saw everybody looking at him. Was oh, he said that afterwards. He was yeah. like, "Damn, I turned around and everybody's looking yeah. at me." Like, yeah, mother. You like, but uh, thought Thor was here throwing like his hammer at people or something. <laughs> Good lord, that was the Gorilla Gang's range day. So, yeah. you know, um, I'm glad we got to do it. Hopefully, we'll get to do some more. You know, hopefully, this guy get a piece soon, and uh, you know, we'll take it up. Yeah, not only a piece, we also have been uh, talking about getting compound bows, which yeah. I'm I'm more excited about that than the guns. Like, he's obviously a gun enthusiast. He loves them. It's his passion. But I'm excited about uh, a compound bow. I shot bows. Um, Aaron said he's going to bring 5.56 five, next time. We got, <laughs> he, he got a AF. Aaron got everything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a damn. Aaron got everything. Aaron, come and then, listen, then real quick, and then we go going to end this. Yeah, so if, if y'all <laughs> ever think about breaking into Aaron's house, You're in I, I would suggest not to do that. But uh, <laughs> he told me he bought something. I forget what it was. It was a handgun. He was like, man, I'm done for a while. About a week later, we go to range. He was like, yeah, I just bought a shotgun. <laughs> so, it, you know, he, he's always stopping, man. But, you know, it, it, it doesn't last long. But it, actually, that brings up. It actually brings up something good. Mm. Uh, and you can even go back to the road rage thing. You never know. Hey, Jason. You never know what people have, right? So don't 
don't mess with people, don't fuck with people, don't do shit to people because you, you never know that person that you're giving the finger and, and trying to run off the road might have a weapon in their car because that's just who they are. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you walk into somebody's house, you never know. So so that's a something that you need to have a healthy respect for. It just And it just is in treating people with respect, right? Like just don't. You never know, so you should probably go out of your way and, and literally almost think everybody has a weapon and treat them like, uh, I might get shot if I do this. And, yeah. and hey, maybe it'll make people treat each other better in the world, but I, I don't know. But yeah, just respect that and, yeah. and don't take that for granted. And real quick before we end this segment, I just want to say that if you are a gun owner or you plan on becoming a gun owner, before you do anything, make sure you learn all of the safety. Number one, the safety mechanisms on the gun. Yes. Safety rules for the gun. You know, I've seen people who are cavalier, man, just, uh, you know, pointing guns, joking around. I just saw a video on um, uh, Facebook. A guy joking around with his girl pointing a gun. Now, I think it had dry fire caps in it, but you want to treat every gun like it's loaded. You don't point a gun at anything that you're not willing as my man says i'm not i'm not going to steal it but i'll give him credit but as my man i run and gun who's on youtube as well check out his channel when you get a chance like subscribe you know you don't point a gun at anything you're not willing to destroy right simple as that that's the best safety rule i've ever heard learn the gun learn how to use it learn how to load it learn all the safety rules learn all the mechanisms safety mechanisms on the gun do not have a cavalier attitude about guns at all because that's the easiest way to kill somebody by accident. You know, and you didn't mean it. You're sitting up in jail for the rest of your life for making a stupid mistake. All right, so Daryl asked, uh, what age should you teach your kids about guns? And tell, uh, them, one in the house. tell them that you um, have one in the house. Personally, Daryl, I would say it depends on the kid's maturity. You understand? Like, you know your kid better than anybody else does. I don't think there's a, a straight age, like, to say 14 or 15 or whatever. Because those rural, like, country kids, they grow up oh, yeah, three, there's... four, five-year-old. Matter of fact, in the lane next to us mm -hmm. was a, yep, a, a Chinese, mm -hmm. uh, like, two Chinese guys, and they had a kid that couldn't have been more than six, seven-ish. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think he was literally, younger than that. Yeah, so there literally was a kid in the ring. And, and they did, you know, the whole time, the father or right with him was, was yeah. right with him and actually shot it with him. Um, I think it's whatever age your kid is mature enough. As far as letting yeah. them know you have the gun, I think it's a good thing to, as long as you're keeping everything locked up and you know the kid can't get into whatever you have it locked up in. Like, I have my Ruger in a lockbox, okay? So... I think it's good to let the kid know you have it to kind of, because one thing that allures kids is not being able. In other words, don't listen to that Red Fox record. Sure. The kids won't sneak in there and listen to it. So if you desensitize them to that, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? If you, look, this and, is here. But not only that, though. Mm -hmm. If you're not able, you would want maybe your, your, your kid, like say you can't get to your gun. Mm -hmm. and your kid is closer, and they have a healthy respect, they have knowledge, they know all that stuff, and they can get to it. In an emergency I mean, situation or something? It, it, it's probably not the most likely scenario, right. but it, it's the potential is there. So mm -hmm. if they have a healthy respect and they've learned and yada, 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 mm -hmm. you know, yeah. And I agree. I think it's a maturity thing. Mm -hmm. um, some kids are, are, are able to handle things at different ages. Mm -hmm. um, so... Yeah, I, I definitely, I, I, I definitely think that's a majority thing. Yeah. I agree. So yeah, I don't think you can put an age on it personally, but um, you know, I of mean, two, I, three is probably a little. Oh, bit of course, I mean, young, but yeah, I think even, even you know, I, school age is is a good way to, to once you get like school age, I think it's it's okay. Yeah, like they start to have that maturity, you know, and responsibility, all that stuff. So. Yeah. But um, I hate the fact that this segment is coming to an end. Yeah, I hate the fact that it's coming to an end. <laughs> I think we could do a whole podcast on this. But we were um, planning on it, right? Yeah, I do want to get my buddy I Run and Gun 
on here. Um, I would love to have Aaron on here. Aaron, if you're ever available, I would love to have you on here, especially with the hardware that you have. And, you know, we could do a, a, a gun episode just talking about different lay guns we like table. and why we like them. And lay them out on the table. Um, you know, it, it would be a lot of fun for me. Yeah. You know, so for uh, sure. unfortunately, we got to end this segment. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we will be back if you're on uh, live. We'll be back in a couple minutes. And next our segment. next segment. Would you move out of state to be with somebody 